This is Jim from Realtruth.net, June the 6th, 2019. I'm not sure why I was uh, prompted to do this video, but it's just something that came to my heart really hard. And this is the question, is Yeshua our Sabbath? Now the... Um, modern day Sunday worshiping church uh, has a doctrine or teaches the doctrine that Yeshua is our Sabbath so therefore the seventh day Sabbath is done away with and I <clears throat> went through the New Testament and I looked up the word rest and I looked up the word Sabbath and so I'm just doing a real short video here. I'm not going to read the scriptures. Um, there's a link to this document. I put all the scriptures in the document. And what the scriptures prove beyond any shadow of a doubt for any honest truth seeking person it proves beyond any shadow of a doubt that Yeshua is not our Sabbath and he can't be. <clears throat> the word rest is used 43 times roughly that. I think if you uh, depends on the concordance or your uh, that you use you may get 42 you may get 44 it, it's, it's subject so uh, but it's used roughly 43 times in the New Testament and represent and represents I get this in your mind and understand this there are 12 different Greek words that are translated as rest and only one time did the word rest translate or represent the Sabbath day and that was in Hebrews 4 9 and I'll show you what the Greek words mean <clears throat> here but in all times it never represents it never is the time of the Sabbath day rest is not the time of the Sabbath day in Hebrews 4 9 there remains therefore a rest to the people of God now this is KJV and this word rest that was used here is a derivative of G 45 21 which is literally Sabbath and this rest here G 45 20 being a derivative of that is only used once and that is in Hebrews 4 9 and it means sabbatism is really the way you would read that just like baptism sabbatism it's that same same thing <clears throat> that we have here and <clears throat> it um, um, it literally should be the way the uh, 1600s did their translation should have just translated it as a Sabbath that's the way it should have been translated the way they do all the translations it should have never been rest okay um, G4521 is used 62 times in the New Testaments and it is rendered as some variant of the Sabbath day or a Levitical Sabbath day. In other words, Sabbath literally means to cease from doing what you're doing. It doesn't mean lay down and rest like the uh, English translators translated it to say Sabbath translates as rest 
is a mistranslation. The KJV has it all wrong. I'm sorry for the KJV on this, but your Bible is in big error because it is the Sabbath is never rest. It is to cease. And then <clears throat> when you look in the Strong's under this 4520, which is only used one time in this variant or this spelling, where, I, I put this in here, where do they get this stuff from? <laughs> A repose of Christianity? What? It's false doctrine. It's a repose, a repro, repose of Catholic theology is what it is. First day worship. Get rid of the Sabbath. Don't be a Jew. That's really what it is. Okay, the Sabbath means to cease from our labors. And in the English way of translating Hebrews 4.9, it should have been translated as Sabbath and as it is in all of the later translations. The only ones that have kept the word rest in there are the KJV and uh, I think even one of the uh, standard type KJVs actually changed this. So um, in all other translations this is this word in um, Hebrews 4.9 is translated as the Sabbath. Now, where is this taking us? How, how is this <clears throat> how is this related to this Yeshua our Sabbath? And what I'm trying to sh what I'm showing here is that the word Sabbath this 4521, this is the main crux of this, used 62 times, is always translated as Sabbath day. It is a time period. The Sabbath is always referenced to a day or a period of time. In all of the 62 uses, you will not find one time where Yeshua is referenced to as our Sabbath or a Sabbath rest. It is not in the scripture. In Matthew 11, 28 and 29, the rest, which is, this is what they do with this. They say, well, he is our rest. He will give you rest. He's, he's your Sabbath. No, the rest Yeshua refers to is an intermission or reposing rest, not a Sabbath rest ceasing. See, Sabbath actually means to cease, to stop. He said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And the law of Yahweh is easy and light. It is not bloody sacrifices, no circumcisions, no touch not, taste not, no abiding by new moons, no living in the wilderness for a week to be righteous. Just simply obey God's Ten Commandments. To sum them up, love Yahweh with all your soul, your heart, and mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. That is the summation of Yahweh's Ten Commandments. Yeshua cannot be an interval of time to cease from our worldly labors. He cannot be a Sabbath for us, and the scripture does not support that kind of thought process at all. It is all a fable, a vain imagination of men's minds. It is false doctrine. There is not one single verse that even remotely reflects that Yeshua is our G4521 Sabbath. It is simply not there in Scripture. Now this rest of Yeshua, 
<clears throat> you notice here, and it's it's interesting because <clears throat> two different words in this passage in Matthew. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest for your souls. Now I'm going to show you what these two words mean here. And I apologize for posting with the KJV. Um, I really restrain from ever using that anymore. Uh, but I did it in this article to keep the Strong's in perspective of the original English translation that this doctrine of uh, Yeshua being the Sabbath came from, which really didn't come from it because it's not there. Um, and for, for the life of me, how anyone can come up with a doctrine from the Bible is beyond my thinking, way beyond my thinking. So let's look here at G373 and 372. And by the way, in the references here, these are all the different words that were translated as Sabbath. And I've put the um, Strong's, and trust me, Strong's, you have to use that real loosely because that is, if you just if you did your Bible study only in Strong's, you're going to go right into the lake of fire because the Strong's is as deceived as the KJV translators were. But the <clears throat> G373 and 372, we got them here. 372 is an intermission. Now, where does this recreation come from? Where do they get that stuff from? It's intermission. It's a it's a time away. I, my yoke, I will give you what? An intermission of what? I will give you an I will give you an intermission. I will give you an intermission. It doesn't say I am an intermission. It doesn't say that. It says, I will give you. What is he giving you? He gives you a Sabbath if you want to take that to that level. But that's not what it's. You take a break from, <clears throat> you're no longer fighting that sin. You're no longer captive to sin. That's really what it's talking about. <clears throat> okay. This. 372, I, I got them, I'm sorry, I got them mixed up here. 372, and I will give intermission unto your souls. An intermission, in other words, you, you, it's, a, it's peace. It's, it's how, uh, the conflict um, within you goes away. This, I will give you rest, 373 is a repose to rest. It's not Sabbath. This means to lay down, to refresh. You know, when it talks about entering into the Sabbath rest, that's exactly what it means. You're ceasing from what you're doing and you are reposing, you are refreshing. Sabbath that does not mean to lay down. It doesn't mean to rest. It doesn't mean to uh, refresh. It means to stop. And when you stop, then you can get the rest and the refreshing and the uh, reposing um, is when you stop. And that is what Yeshua said here. He said, Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you repose. Lay down and take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. And you shall find an intermission unto your souls. You will find a peace. You will find that you are away from your fight. 
and that and those are the only <coughs> place though sorry I'm going back and forth forgive me for this this is the only place where you get that uh, issue it, where they took this I think it's where they took it I don't even know where they could have taken Yeshua as our Sabbath from it's a made up it's because they are trying to make something up to say they're not following a Catholic the Protestants are and again this is not an issue with the Catholics the Catholics <laughs> For for them, a Protestant thinking this stuff is heresy because it's it's so it's such a ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous uh, fable to think the issue is our Sabbath because it's it's so not in the Scripture. So anyhow, what I've done here is I've got I'm just showing you a little bit of this. I've got all the different. Uh, places where rest is used and I've also got have all of the I've posted all the scriptures where rest is used and I've posted um, let's see if this will come up for me I can show my bookmarks I don't know why it didn't come in on this oh well um, have all the scriptures where rest is and I also have all the scriptures where um, the Sabbath is used in the New Testament so you can download this document and just go through it I've already done all the work for you oops sorry drive you nuts here Forgive me for that. I like, I'm going to go clip that out. No, whatever. I'll leave it in there. Um, so from the scripture, it answers. Is Yeshua our Sabbath? Absolutely not. It is not there in scripture. You cannot find it. It is a man-made up doctrine and it is a false doctrine. So may Yahweh ever forever bless his word and we must worship him in truth and in spirit and I'll leave it on that hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah